Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 9 and 10 of Sit Back GX. Let's go ahead and get started on episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. See, okay, you know what I'm going to say about this scene right here? Way before they showed this last week, I kind of had a weird feeling it was going to happen, that she was going to take over, because, I mean, come on. Why have Elf be over here so much? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Uh, freak, come on. We all knew this shit was going to happen. She going to do something to her. She's taking over her right now. She's going to use her to possibly steal something or maybe kill one of the girls. But I don't think she's really going to kill one of the girls. Maybe hurt one of the girls. Who knows, but I don't know. Y'all know. That's the thing. But you're not gonna tell me. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell me. Shit. <laughs> and I haven't been playing the game. It's been... I wanna say a couple of days since I last played the game. I'm kind of not being the same when I do... How I do, uh... Budget recording. I just... Cause like... I always forget that the login day is at like 12 o'clock at night and then it's 12 o'clock and then I'm like doing something else and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll log in tomorrow and then I forget. But then the login thing doesn't even change. You can come in. It could be like several days later and it's like, oh, here you go. Log in. But who knows what could happen in today's episode. Something bad's going to happen. Hibiki's dick of a father's probably going to show up, really, because I, I don't want to see him. He is such a Ass. Like, you want to look up asshole in the dictionary? He's in there. And a couple other characters that I don't like from TV shows. They're in there too. But seriously, her dad is a piece of shit. He just doesn't care about his family. And I hope and pray that within these next few episodes that he kind of gets remorse about them. But like, as of right now, he don't give two shits about his family. And the crap that they had to deal with when he mysteriously ran away. It was your fault! Let me not. Are you okay? <laughs> Please tell me it's not your fucking dad. Just seeing, like, the fact that her dad like, called her, oh god, I can't. Uh. Honestly, I can't wait to hear about Tsubasa's grandfather, because, I mean, somebody was like, oh yeah, you thought you think his dad was a piece of shit, wait until you be her grandfather, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, it ain't gonna be some type of shit where, you know what, no, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Because I think I know something, but I'm gonna kind of wait until we get there. Or I could just be like, fuck it, I could just say it now and then wait until we get there. And someone can just go ahead and spoil me on that. But.
だからさ。Yeah, but guys, also keep a close watch on Elf because um, y'all don't know, but still. If we gotta kill Elf, it's okay. I, I, I won't even cry. That's her father. Hmm, I actually thought we would have saw your grandfather in today's episode. I know, don't you want to, like, hug her or something? Care of her? Something's fishy about this. See, I want to say, oh, God, I, I want to. I really, really want to say what I think I, I'm right about, but I don't want to get spoiled on it. So it's like, uh, I'm at a crossroads. It's like, do I say it and then say, don't tell me shit about it? Like, no matter how many times people watch this up until I find out if I'm right about, about it, or do I say it? And I mean, because the Patreons get this first, so I mean, the people who aren't Patreons, y'all are going to be seeing this until next week. Well, I don't know. Uh. You know what, no, this is how I'll do it. I'll wait until the end of the episode to say kind of what I want to say about her father. And then um, when we get later on to finding out more about her grandfather, whatever that's going to come, that's when I'll say what I think about her grandfather. Right now, I'll just be really quiet about it. Hmm. We all know that shit was not supposed to happen.
gray. But then what about Kibi Key? I mean, well, no, because Kibi Key can't really do anything right now. I mean, we can just say Kibi Key out of commission until, you know, OP comes. <laughs> but then she not I'll have gone with them to stop her, though. But then, no, because then they would find out that Carol is controlling her, so... He was the tone earlier. I know. I, I feel the same way, Maria, but... <clears throat> worse because of the fact just that also she voices on and on's room is like a fucking <laughs> oh my god Excuse me? See, I had a feeling about that. Oh, okay. Never mind anymore. I honestly thought with that, 
I thought they were gonna wait like until next season to talk about it. I was like, damn, I'm probably gonna have to wait until next season and be like, yeah, I saw it. You tried, Maria. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. he cares for you. Now, see, if this don't stop her, I don't know what the fuck will. But it's going to, because I feel like she's going to die unnecessarily for Carol's plan, possibly. I mean, because the other two already died, so it would make freaking sense. But see, didn't that seem a little too easy, though?
This better not end on no goddamn. Ready for this? You already did it last week and the week before. Let's not do it again, please. I, I beg you. Like a goddamn phoenix in the head. That's pretty as fuck. I don't know why, but I just got like demon player real side <laughs> No, it's not. No, 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 no. Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? No! Are you fucking kidding me? Where the hell has he been hiding? Did he escape? Something. I don't even know what to say right now. Out of all the freaking characters, I'm thinking. <laughs> I look like a cloud right now. I mean, I, I was thinking when we saw him, Dad. You found that. Going back to last season and him getting captured by these girls at this group, I'm thinking this man going to jail, he gonna rot in prison for the rest of his life in some maximum security prison, all nice and tight, people gonna be watching him every day on the hour. No. Cause he's right there. Did, okay, did Carol like summon his behind or some shit? I am, um, bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Did this ain't happen? No. Mm mm. This did not just happen. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, hold up. I just, mm -mm. I can't even believe what the hell I just saw for these last few minutes. I mean, seriously, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> now, you know what? I'm going to say this too. If Fine, even though I know Fe there is no way in hell Fine is going to be able to come back. But if Fina come up, if she pop up in this next damn episode, I'm just gonna be like, what the fuck? 
Is this just all stars? Let's bring all these three villains from the past few seasons and just bring them all back in this one in the last few episodes or something. I don't know, but like, can we just talk about Subasa's situation real quick? I mean, the fact is that I had because I had feelings about it because, like, especially when her father came into the picture and how I was like, because uh, I was looking at him and I was just like. You kind of look like your dad, but then at the same time, you don't. And how he's really cold and distant to her. And then finding out the big picture that her grandfather impregnated her mom. So she was born. So her grandfather is her father. And I'm guessing that's his son. And she still considers him a father figure. What the fuck? What? I mean, it's just, is this show now telling me that, like, I mean, the dads in this series are way fucked up. I mean, even though we haven't met Subasa's, you know, grandfather, actual father, I mean, he just seems like an asshole. But this, if it's his son, he seems way more caring. Because I honestly, when I was thinking when we were going to meet her father, and we saw his father, uh, her father really... I was thinking he was just going to be a sugar asshole. It's like, oh, damn. I'm like, I can see where you, you know, your attitude and the way you are. And I mean, Maria was in a way saying that. She was saying almost things that I was thinking while I was watching the freaking episode. But then just those moments of like seeing the symbolism of her room not being cleaned. It's just the same way as she left it that he still cares about her, even though that's not her daughter. But he still treats her like he she's her daughter and stuff like that and it's just like oh my god because there are parents especially when you uh, you prepare to get a divorce and then someone comes in and they can treat their kid the kids like the, their kids and it's like that it seems like it was that but still i wasn't expecting that i, I was kind of like i was kind of at the same time i was because i was like okay if the fact is y'all don't look alike kind of then that means the grandfather has to be her father I just, oh, 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 my God. Big oh, between that and this ending. What the fuck was this shit? I, I mean, hello, I, dude, God. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to say. Just what the fuck was this episode? I mean, it was going to spuck, but until the last few <laughs> moments out of all the damn characters. Are you fucking kidding me? All the fucking characters that could have come up at this moment. It had to be the damn doctor. I'm thinking like, yeah, this is the last time we're going to see him. We're not seeing him again. I can't wait to go on Twitter and see about this shit. <sighs> I mean, let, let, let's talk about this cliffhanger. Of I mean, I've seen a lot of cliffhangers in TV shows and animes and everything else, but I mean, this, this takes the motherfucking cake. I, I would say, did a, did Fate do a cliffhanger like this? I mean, I feel like Fate, you mean, you did like someone. No, yes, you yes, yes. <laughs> expecting it, I was just like, are you serious? There's another show I watched and did it almost somewhat like this, and I was just like, I, I was just flabbergasted. I am flabbergasted with this episode, like, are you fucking kidding me? See you guys in one second for episode 10. <laughs> okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go.
That's what happened. That's basically what happened. This is gonna be a gay shame for everybody. Yeah. Why would you put a person underwater? That's all I want to freaking know. That's all I want to know. Why would you put his cell in the exact same place where these girls got to go? You basically asked him for the confrontation. I mean, seriously. There was nobody smart about this. You could have put it on land. Maybe in this, I'm about to say sea, in the sky, in space. But no, you could have put it in a volcano. But you put it in water. And now he here. The one character I did not like in this past <laughs> previous season is fucking back. And I'm just like, I don't want to see his eyes. I didn't like him. <laughs> I hated him so much. <laughs> like, one of those least characters that I can't stand. I could not stand him in the last season. And you bring him back. You're like, oh, here you go. Uh, see, Kitty, it should have made no my pain right now. Oh my god. another way to make the freaking Lakers. Just kill him! This is why we should have killed him at the end of season two! Oh my god! Oh god. What you gonna do? Take him with you? You know what he kind of reminds me of? You know the guy, the orange boy from Kogi Eyes? Oh my mother, I forgot. I could not stand him either. I, I liked him in the beginning, but then like by the time we finished the dang show, when I finished it, I could not stand him. Oh my god. If you don't know who I'm talking about, just go watch Kogi Eyes. You can finish that in like a day. Maybe two. No, you two need to go. Because of the fact is the doctor's here still, you're going to act a certain type of way. So just stay away.
too late now. Oh my god. Oh, she lied. Of course, she had to do what she had to do. Yeah, but then you'll come after her still. Is the doctor still with you? Exactly, so, I mean, shouldn't they be able to use them? You know, also, Commander, I don't think you would be saying this issue of PBQ was here. I mean, I'm just saying, who knows, but... And she might kill herself before she even answers y'all. I'm just saying, who knows? Everything on that. 
cream. Oh, you got to come for it. Be like, oh my god, you want me to come with you? Y'all are worse than Haruka and me too. I swear to god, I can't. What the hell? Wait, elf, elf, elf? Did elf slip the poison? Right there, right there, right there, right there. The child, the child. They go ahead and kill Elf. They go ahead and kill my Nina. Oh my god. I know you didn't even know it. Just remember last episode I said, hey, if they got a killer, I ain't gonna be sad. I lied. Mm -hmm. And you guys fell for it so easily. Oh. I know you're so precious. You can't hurt anyone. You wouldn't know. Well, let's just thank God they didn't kill this child because <laughs> you would have saw me. I mean, I would have been a mess. Way worse when Archer died. Anything, I would have been a mess. I would have been done with this episode. I don't even think I'm probably gonna finish it. Oh god. You're gonna use. Okay, no. You gonna use them or you gonna use.
We got eight minutes left. I'm scared to find out how the hell this episode is going to end. I mean, you gave me that cliffhanger. Is this cliffhanger going to be worse than the last episode? Because if so, I'm not ready for this. Like, mm -mm. I, I just, oh, God. I just, I wish he, he could help, but he, he's at my, not at my, out of commission. And she's laying down on the bed talking to her girlfriend. Oh, damn. <clears throat> kind of figured that they had to die too as well. I mean, it was obvious. We all knew it was going to fucking happen. But wait, 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 wait. She is supposed to use it because Okay, never mind. Hey, she got to do what she got to do. It, it, it's usually, hey, if she got to kill herself too, it's fine.
Okay, let's get the fuck up out of here, please. that girl exactly they're not gonna get out of time are they Uh, and she be you don't even know what the fuck happened. <laughs> you mean you don't know shit what the fuck just happened? You think you probably like, yeah, everything's fine. I'm gonna go talk to my dad. So most of them are you don't even know anything either. But they're not dead. They're, they're, there's no way in hell that they're dead. I mean, come on now. I have nothing to say about this episode. I mean, it didn't... It didn't really piss me off as much as last episode did. I mean, the last episode... Oh, God, like... That pissed me off a lot. I, I wasn't expecting certain things. But with this, I kind of got closure with some of the moments. And thank God they made it out. But still, that. And like I said, Hibiki doesn't know anything. Hibiki about to talk to her dad. Maybe I'm guessing with his next two episodes. Hibiki might get the closure that she's looking for. Honestly, this episode was really just about the relationship of Chris, Hibi, and Shinobe. In a way. And then knowing the truth about Elf. I mean, because we all saw that shit coming. Just, we, we thank God that they did not hurt my baby Elf. Because oof, it would have been big oof with this episode. A big oof. But, I mean, because I, I honestly thought they would have waited until episode 11 to say, oh, hey, here's the reason why, you know... Carol knows everything and hears everything of what you're doing is because of the fact is she was one of um, one of the many copies of Carol and then she has her memories and like that and to, to the fact is that it was talked about in this episode it makes me wonder like with these last three episodes what the fuck could happen especially with Hibiki and her father is Miku like I, I would predominantly think that Miku would be there just to be there not only as a friend, but as a girlfriend, I'm just saying. Because they are fucking girlfriends, and they're just fucking idiots, and I love them so fucking much. But, it, just to be there for her, because I think, instead of her, you know, I, I know it's a family issue, but because of the fact is, I, the relationship of Hibiki and Miku is, it, it's still a friendship, but I think it's still more than that, because of the fact is they really, truly care for each other that much. But, um, honestly, I ain't gonna know until next week, but still, I mean, this just went from bad to worse in what the hell is going on. I, I mean, bruh, <laughs> I, I can't really say anything else about it. I mean, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words, just like last episode. I mean, honestly, really, because I wasn't expecting it. I mean, with some of the stuff in this episode, I was kind of expecting it, and then at the same time, I wasn't. But just like, I don't know what's next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 
and 10 of Sephokia GX. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys special next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.